Thank you to all of my friends at International Christian Voice for commemorating this 10th anniversary commemoration of the martyrdom of our brother, Shahid Shabaz Bhatti. Thank you especially to uh, Peter Bhatti and the whole Bhatti family for continuing uh, to keep the memory of Shabaz alive and continuing to convey the message of his martyrdom to a world that needs to understand it. You know and recall that I was so honored to welcome Shabazz to Canada on his last visit outside of Pakistan and uh, to accompany him back to the Ottawa airport after having met uh, former Prime Minister Harper, to have pled with him at that time to stay here in Canada because he knew he was returning to Islamabad to face uh, mortal danger. Sadly, his prediction of an assassination attempt came true only two weeks later. Let me quote uh, to you an email that I received from Shabazz just a few hours uh, before his life was so brutally taken by the terrorists a decade ago. He wrote to me, quotes, I personally believe that it is Jesus Christ who has once again bestowed unto me his responsibility and position with a special purpose and mission to serve the suffering humanity. And I am determined to carry on defending the principles of religious freedom, human equality, and the rights of minorities." Unquote. Those are some of the last words that he wrote, likely on a computer uh, from his mother's house just hours before being attacked. As you know, Shabazz said, quotes, I will consider myself most fortunate if Jesus Christ will accept the sacrifice of my blood to raise the voice for the justice and rights of the persecuted and victimized Christians and other minorities in Pakistan. There can be no doubt that there are very few uh, examples in our own time more clearly of the spirit of martyrdom than Shabazz, who knew that he was returning to almost certain, certain death. That is why I've been working with a network of legislators around the world uh, to promote the cause for Shabazz's beatification so that he might be a symbol and an example uh, to people around the world, but particularly to legislators, to those in the vocation of politics, uh, to lead with digni dignity, with servant leadership, and even with sacrificial love. That is the, the moral of Shabazz's remarkable life. So thank you again to all of those of you who keep his memory alive. And we hope one day to be able to pray prayers of intercession to Shahid Shabazz Bhatti, just as we do to his patron saint, St. Thomas More. God bless you all uh, in your virtual gathering this year. And I look forward to seeing you again all in person when we can do so safely.